What's up dudes and dudettes, hope you're doing well. And yes, that sequence you just saw was shot using my new motorized auto-triggering camera slider, whose build process is gonna be the content of today's episode. Coming up after the break. We all know time lapses are cool, but they are not like moving camera super hyperlapse cool. So that's why I built this beast, which is uh, like one meter long. I designed it around these two aluminum rods, which you can uh, obviously not 3D print. And uh, I decided to use pretty cheap but reliable standard parts that you can get off the shelf basically anywhere, like this NEMA 17 motor we've seen in the last video already. The timing belt, this regular GT2 3D printing gear, as well as this bearing and uh, the timing pulley we have in here. I'll show you a close-up shot of that later on. Uh, we have a small display, I think it's from a Nokia. We have the same smart joystick for setting up the stuff and inside of this is a motor controller around an L298, I think, as well as an Arduino Nano and some code I wrote myself. Another, another really cool feature of this thing is the TRRS jack I have here, which allows me to use the Arduino with an optocoupler, shorten, ground and mic and thereby make the cell phone take a photo. This is, the, this is where the moving hyperlapse part comes in. So basically I have a program in here, which is called hyperlapse, that will move the stepper a little bit, trigger this uh, cell phone jack, make the cell phone take a picture and move on and so forth. Besides all these other parts, obviously all the black ones are 3D printed on the Creality CR10S and I designed all of them using OpenSCAD and how I assembled this beast I will show you in the next minutes. Alright, here we are. Now that we got our parts printed and some minor metal parts shipped that we need for the build, we can start assembling. Let's go! Uh, this is actually design number three. Can you see this on camera? There are these intricate valleys which are meant to take the belt and some tightening screws. So this tightening screw here has a nice inlet which is uh, just goes on like this. Which is in there which you can fasten only as long as it's uh, off the, the slider basically. So I had to design another one so I can fasten the belt while this thing is on there. This strange thing here is a stepper dampener, which you might know from other 3D print videos. All this does is uh, decouple the motor from the frame by having this uh, pretty hard uh, piece of gum in between them. Alright, awesome. Now finished, probably, I guess. I think I didn't forget any screws. So let's test this one meter beast out in the testing corner. Alright guys, we're back in the testing corner. We set everything up, we put it on two tripods as uh, you suspected already. You know this testing corner from last episode, we nearly destroyed it basically. And uh, let me now walk you through the setup of this thing and then let's see it slide. Here you can see the little GUI I coded for this uh, color display. You can move through the options using the joystick. 
uh, this is up and down, left and right sets certain values, for example the speed that the stepper motor drives at. As you can see here, all the options are updated in real time. Informations like steps per second or how many steps it will take overall to travel the distance, which you can also set in here, because sometimes you might want to drive only short distance, sometimes you want to drive longer. Maybe you use longer pipes and you can set this to two meters, for example. Here we can set the time-lapse delay, which is the wait time between doing a step and actually triggering the camera. And uh, we can of course set how many steps we want to drive before we take the picture. And uh, in the upper, this one, the first option is go in real time and the second option would be to go in the auto triggering hyperlapse mode. And now let's drive it in the real time mode. Well, that was pretty loud, wasn't it? And uh, it's not really what I expected after using this motor dampener in here. There seem to be quite a lot of vibrations going onto the frame, which I think is because I'm driving this stepper in full step mode. So, um, and we have a little play in this slider here, as you can hear. So my guess or my, my estimate is that every time we, we move a, a chopped one of these steps, it will cause vibrations in this slider. Because if I load a heavy camera on this slider, it's pretty silent actually and you only hear the, the regular stepper noise that you want. The two upcoming sequences will show you some results that I produced using this camera slider. One is a real-time slide with a DSLR that's just filming me uh, on here, which is pretty heavy and you can see that it's actually pretty smooth, smoother than it sounded in the, in the previous clip actually. And the other one is a cell phone on here using this hyperlapse mode and which is triggered by this TRRS jack. Um, both clips are of me indoors. I don't get also much, which you can probably tell by my nerd tan. So uh, enjoy! If you enjoyed today's epi- Oh look, there's my beer! Must be a German camera slider. So if you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did, please consider subscribing, visiting my Patreon page. And if you got any comments, something you don't like, some suggestions, please leave it down in the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.